Okay, so this movement submit, submitted by Craig Dana at Orchard Park High School in New York. Out of his 50 front, what he does against these tight split <clears throat> double wing teams is he switches the outside linebackers and the defensive tackle. So that's a tackle here. That's the linebacker here. Same thing on this side. You're going to get your tackle here and your linebacker here. And the reason why he does that is twofold. He wants those linebackers who are a little more athletic crabbing through the legs and the feet of those offensive linemen where these bigger tackles are able to stay on the tight end and keep those C gaps controlled, which is so important in these double wing offenses. So we have a few clips that Coach Dana submitted here. I just see as this thing develops here. Okay, so there's the crab technique, okay, by the outside linebackers. There's those physical tackles staying up on the C gap out of his 50 front. And you can see how that opens a door to make some plays. We're just going to see the end zone shots here, coaches. Okay, same thing here, outside linebacker, outside linebacker, both in 50 or 5 techniques. This one's a little tighter to the left. What you see right now, you're going to get almost like a power scheme, crab in there, crab in there. You have the bigger defensive tackles, okay, using their hands. Okay, and you see that's not a good matchup when you got those big defensive tackles, those pulling guards. I mean, it's, they're gonna, it's not going to be too effective, and you do get a little bit of a mess inside there when teams try to run the ball inside. And you can see here, I mean, just, you know, a simple technique, cutting the legs. You see those linebackers are able to see a little bit, which is what they need to do against these teams. There's so much misdirection there. Those linebackers are able to see and make plays and run a little bit. Okay, here's a toss concept. Okay, there's the cut over here to the front side. There's the big D tackle. You have your corner here. Okay, you have your safety here. You have your linebacker here out of Coach Dana's 50 front. Okay, but right here he's able to cut. The ball's going to look like it's, it's, it's going to be bottled up because of this whole mess here. A lot of bodies on the floor. Spilled outside to those corners and those linebackers. Get a better shot of it here. There's a crab technique right there. There's a crab technique. You see the hat of the, of the right guards going down. And this is mainly good against some of these single wing and double team, double wing teams. They run that wedge play, which is very similar to what you're seeing here. It's a pretty productive concept, according to Coach Dana, against those plays. So again, here's third and short. I mean, it helps. We're talking third and short on the sticks. But crab technique there. There's the big defensive tackle. You know, I mean, that's a big mismatch. And again, you can control that C gap by having those bigger players there. Four point stance. Crab technique here. Crab technique here. Now, this is toss which could be a problem when you have those big defensive tackles out on the perimeter. But as long as the ball cuts back and they're able to maintain the C-gap and maintain the tight end, there's really nobody to block linebackers. As you see right now, that defensive tackle is going to hold that C-gap so these players could get over the top. And they do pick up some yardage on it. Show you one more here. Again, crab technique, crab technique on the counter. So, just a way to uh, change things up a little bit. If you've seen these double wing teams, put those bigger guys on the perimeter for some uh, girth in the C gap.